pushing. Most people don't know that when our people move 
from Sierra Leone and Liberia and these different things, we set up shop in Nigeria. And we became a whole nother tribe. And when we talk about basic conflicts, there were different periods where we would argue with each other and there was conflicts. Remember, we come there with the colonist movement, which was pushing Christianity. And so you had different like Yoruba that was saying, like, hey, you're imposing Christianity on a people, we don't like that. So there was different periods of like a year where there were conflicts. But they were able to hash it out and work with each other. And these people, these people are still here today. You had this brother, Edward Francis Small, quickly, out of the Aku people in Gambia. This man right here is responsible for the independence movement of liberating that whole country. And he's us. He's the descendant of, of us going back there and setting up shop and making it work. So wherever we can, wherever, wherever we're at, we can do what we need to do. The, uh, again, we were separated from the continent maybe three, four generations. Supposedly we're not even African no more. But they go back and they reintegrate into society. Make it work. And this brother right here was part of the, the, the Creole for Fernandinos. And for brother, the people that don't know, um, they actually speak Spanish in Africa. They didn't know. Um, it's Equatorial Guinea. This brother is um, actually responsible for being one of the first translators of the language and so that people can uh, actually read it and, and understand it in different languages. Again, uh, peace and conflicts. U.S. government policy is that, write that down, NSCM, that is the National Security Council Memorandum 46, it is government policy that we don't get along. You don't believe me? Look it up. And I, I'll actually leave it there because I want you to read them in week because you need to understand why I have Barack Obama and this bald eagle looking Whitewood behind here. Um, <laughs> it's a big nose, the big nose presents. Um, this guy right here, he actually wrote the document. Okay, and it talks about putting black people in presidential leadership to disrupt black organizations, to cause dissension between Africans on the continent and Africans here. Guess who Barack Obama's chief political advisor? Okay. U.S. immigration. Um, if you talk to any 